Taylor Swift's entry into politics is actually making a difference. After the singer posted this to Instagram, asking her 112 million followers to register to vote, fans listened. According to the Washington Post, 105,000 people registered to vote within 48 hours of T-Swift's post, more than 2,000 people in her home state of Tennessee alone. But T-Swift isn't the only celebrity making political waves. President Trump is expected to meet with Kanye West at the White House on Thursday. They will be discussing criminal justice reform and manufacturing jobs in Chicago. So given their influence, do celebrities have a duty to speak out? In fact, we had this conversation yesterday. You two had very opposite points of view. Let's let's remind everybody what happened yesterday. Oh, <laughs> she is being a citizen do. and she's asking millennials who she has the who voice don't of. Vote. Excuse me, to vote. You exactly put my point. Not gonna, exactly. Well, forgive my me point. if I don't take my political advice from from someone who didn't play a bar in Nashville and who has more boyfriends than Baskin Robbins has flavor. <laughs> 31 flavors, Bo. It seems like they listened and that they went to register. But, uh, Sam, I mean, correlation isn't causation. And I say this because why? The deadline was today. Of course, everybody's registering. Now, if we saw a 200% increase just in Tennessee alone, and that was different from the other 49 states. There was states, a big increase in Tennessee alone. And all states there were, because everyone's registering to vote. Look, So you can't give her this? Of course not. Now, if we, <laughs> knew, the out, if, if we knew the outcome changed, that wouldn't we have a different story if we knew Bredesen won by 10 points today you would say okay she might have had an effect we're just talking about registration in your logic everybody's in your logic though today. then Bo no step is a good step because this no, is that's progress that's well then true. you should give her credit for getting that many people to register no matter I how think, they vote I think everyone should do have their civic duty to vote I believe that but let's look at something that is causal we've got a full screen graphic on President Trump here since we're talking about Kanye at the same time let's look at this 2.4 million jobs added lowest unemployment since 1970 4.2 GDP growth and he passed a bipartisan open Opioid, opioid reform bill. There's a lot of causation with what President Trump is doing right now. What if now? I put a I full like screen that. and says Muslim ban and I say uh, lock up kids in cages? Not a Muslim ban. That's okay. wrong. Okay. <laughs> Correct. The whole thing about Kanye and Kim that I want to ask, I mean Kanye and, yeah. and, and, and Taylor. Taylor Swift is this. If we can show the picture, they had their moment at the VMAs. Remember this moment, guys, mm -hmm. in pop culture? Yep. Now some people are saying, and I think it's correct, Taylor Swift is taking metaphorically the mic back from Kanye. This is from the VMAs to the White House. That's and what I big. think this shows is that pop culture and politics are fully integrated at but this point. But let's look point. at what Kanye's doing, something positive. But you can't say about Taylor. Why can't you say the what same thing about she got that many people to vote. She said that she was that Marsha Blackburn was against the Equal Rights Act. She equal, voted against the, the Prevention of Violence for Women Act. Guess that what? is true. President Kennedy signed the Equal Rights Act, and Marsha Blackburn was 11 years old. So Taylor needs to do a little bit of fact checking. Okay. Well, look, guys. <laughs> well, look, well, look. Isn't this what we want when it, when it comes to a celebrity posting something about politics or whatever it is to bring awareness? Isn't the, isn't that what we want? Yeah. Because now we as people, we you've brought awareness to it. Now we can do our due diligence on our own. Own, own educate research. you're trusting them educate a lot, yourself you're trusting them a lot to go do their due diligence I trust myself. Myself. that's what voters do that's constituents they make their decision and they vote that's what voters right. do all right enough <laughs> i think we can all agree that it's a good idea to vote make sure you educate yourself on the <laughs> issues and we're going to leave it on that